Oh, hello there. Welcome to another day on the trails with me, Wes Neal. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up, everybody? Back on the trails. I know uh, a bunch of people have been like, hey, when you get back on the trails, we want to see your YouTube videos. Da 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 da. Thanks for the support on the YouTube. Um, not the type of guy trying to become famous on YouTube, which I, I can't complain. That'd be decent, right? Right? Everyone's dreams to be a YouTube star now. Anyways, just wanted to report on the Juggernaut Ultra 1000. So I pan down here a little bit. So there we got it. I'm back here, I headed up Kings Canyon uh, outside Carson City, Nevada. Nice sunset evening here. And um, I'm fully putting my new um, invention to the test, the uh, battery scabbard. So let me, uh, oh, hold on, let's spin this around. Ooh, look at how that worked. All right, here we go. It's doing good so far, the bolts are holding up down here. That's all holding up real well. So, I uh, I painted it with uh, undercoating. So, and um, temporarily I have done uh, like Super 77 glue. Um, same type of stuff, but from Loctite. I sprayed the inside and I actually used an old dish towel and lined it. So, that seems to be helping really well. Got a piece of padding down here in the bottom. So, this is resting on a nice thick piece of padding so it's and to, to be honest with you guys this thing hasn't bounced around yet and i mean this is this is what i'm riding and i mean i'm not riding it super fast guys but um the, and i did a little bit of downhill that um contained a lot of rocks and stuff and it did really well um I'm going to work on tightening it up a bit more. Um, what I want to do is put um, industrial grade rubber on the inside. And um, I'm going to put that on the, the back side there. And that's going to help um, alleviate it. Also, the bolts that go through the frame. Let me spin you back around here. The bolts that go back through the bolts that go through the frame. Roshan had mentioned... Uh, a good um, observation uh, where everyone's not quite sure if those bolts, those threads, that tapping is going to hold this type of weight and stress. Great question. I don't, hey, everyone has given me comments on this. I haven't thought one negative thing towards any of your comments are all great things. This is what makes innovation great. We all put our minds to it. We all say things. We get a look at it from multiple angles. Uh, you know, other people have tried other stuff. Other people have tried other stuff, and, and so on and so forth. So, hey, that's that's how we get innovation, you know? So, here's what I found out. The threads, or, or, you, wanna, or you might want to say the taps, go all the way through the frame. So I'm gonna get longer stainless steel hardware and I'm gonna run it all the way through the thread. So they're about a half to three quarters of a way in now. So I'm not a physics major, but if I were to put the hardware all the way through and you had it threaded all the way through till the other side you had a little bit sticking out, I mean, in, 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 in a regular scenario, I would think that'd be better because you're using every single thread in the tap. Also, I'm going to go ahead and get small machine nuts and lock tight them on. And then I think what I'm going to basically be doing is pulling the strength and taking a lot of the stress off actually the threads. Maybe that, that nut, bolt, and threads can all share the stress 50 50 now remember there's four of them on there there's two on the bottom and then there's two on the the back side and then the way this thing is sitting it's pretty balanced so i think it's a good idea guys i i think we really need to be optimistic and hope this thing works 
So uh, another question was asked, why am I doing it? You know, there's other, there's other racks options. It's because this is the look I want. I want a mountain bike look. I don't want that rack on there. I use my backpack for my water and tools. So I really don't want anything on the back hanging over the tire. I just want that nice, like I said in my last video, that nice, sexy mountain bike look. And I don't, I, I personally, my personal opinion, I don't like the uh, rack. So um, yeah, hopefully this works. Other than that, I'm gonna head up here into the hills a little bit. Hopefully, um, I don't know how far I'm gonna go because of the uh, uh, mountain lions that are sometimes around here. Um, but anyways, uh, I got protection for those guys. But anyways, um, yeah, um, we're going to keep beating this thing up and see what happens. Uh, you know, tomorrow I'm going to go down to Lowe's and get some new uh, hardware for it. And we'll go from there. All right, you guys got any other comments or anything, uh, don't hesitate to leave them. Um, if you're watching this or watching me tuning into my videos for the first time hit that subscribe button I never got to say that hit that like button and if you're looking at a bike tricks bike Look no further. These guys do got it down great bike great bike just from coming from a guy that bike tricks Did not give me that bike. I paid for that bike hard-earned money. So um, This isn't sponsored. All right later